Hey everyone, this is Mr. Workman. I'm gonna go through how to combine ions of opposite charge and um, help you figure out how to write formulas that reflect those proportions. So um, let's just do a couple of quick examples here. Um, let's say, for example, I've got an ion of sodium. Uh, and sodium, of course, uh, forms a plus one ion. Uh, because it loses its one valence electron, and the result is that, would, that it would have 11 protons and 10 electrons, so that inequality in protons and electrons would make it have a positive ion. So for example, if it were going to combine with, say, an, a, an anion of chlorine, which is the chloride, this of course is a sodium cation, this is what's called the chloride anion. In ionic bonding, what happens is ions of opposite charge will combine with one another in a proportion so that their charges will total up to zero. All right? Now, let's write that down. So that's our rule. This is how you figure out how, how ions will combine together. They combine so that their charges will add up to zero. Sodium is a plus one, and chlorine, or chloride, is a negative one. So if I had one plus one and one negative one, that adds to zero, right? That adds up to zero. So the result of that is that sodium and chloride combine in a one-to-one -one ratio. So one of these for every one of these. And what we always do is we write the cation first, the anion second. Uh, so that's why the sodium is in front of the chlorine. We'd never, we would never write CLNA. This is the wrong way to do it. According to our chemistry ionic nomenclature writing conventions, we put the cation first and the anion second. That's for not only the formula, but also the name. So. We call this sodium chloride. OK? Let's do one more example. Let's say, for example, I have an ion of magnesium. Magnesium forms a 2 plus cation. And fluorine forms a minus 1 cation. Excuse me, anion. And very many of our anions have the ending IDE. So if we consider this magnesium 2 plus and this fluoride 1 minus, what we're going to do here is think about this. Ions of opposite charge will combine so that their total charges add up to 0. So we need to think of the proportion what proportion of these would go with these? And <clears throat> I'm sure you've already figured out that um, positive 2 plus negative 1 does not equal 0. However, if I had positive 2 plus 2 negative 1s, that would equal 0. So. In the same way, what we would need is one magnesium cation and two fluoride anions. And this is, in fact, the way that magnesium and fluoride combine. They combine in a one to two ratio.
So one of these for every two of those. Okay, and so what we need to do is write a formula that reflects that proportion. And this is how we do that. I write a lower, uh, a number that's a little bit smaller than my letters, and I write it below them a little bit. This is called a subscript. And this two reflects only the quantity, not the charge, but the quantity of the uh, anion, in this case, uh, in front of it. So this tells me I have two Fs for every one Mg. We would call that magnesium fluoride. So that's a couple of examples of how to do really simple ion combinations. Okay? That's all for now, folks. Thanks.